everybody. Being here feels absolutely surreal, like I've just stepped into a memory or a dream. It's so weird. For those of you who don't know, who haven't been following me for a thousand years, because it has actually been a long fucking time now, we've come back to Leipzig to the Biggie team with the baby. I used to live here. I lived here for like two years, but that was three years ago, like pre-COVID. So I haven't actually been here for three years. On one hand, it's like stepping into a memory. On the other hand, it's like no time has passed at all. It's just like, oh yeah, hi. Hi everybody. Hi Leipzig. I've been trying to learn German more in the interim. It's okay, but the second I go to talk to somebody, it's like, oh, I can't remember a thing. I'm doing my best. I've just got to get over the nerves, really. Anyway, Mr. Owl is with me. Does he want to be in the vlog? Looking a bit like Andrew Eldridge today. So this is his first time at the Biggie Tea, or indeed any goth festival. Oh, here comes the tram. Let's get on the tram, Baba. Oh, you can sit there. Yeah, you want to sit there? All right, I'll sit over here. Let's go on the tram. Okay, we're here. Most people are going to be at the Clarence Atkin Park at the moment for the Victorian picnic, but I usually don't go to that, especially today, it's very hot and sunny and the idea of sitting in the grass in the blazing sun sounds quite hellish to me. So there probably won't be as many people here, but that's okay. I just wanted to show Mr. Al where the kind of hub of the festival is. No fucking way! Hey you. Hey you. Yes, that's right, a place that bands actually come to. <laughs> culture, yes, I am culture shaming New Zealand. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Some of my favourite vendors are not usually are not here this time, but can you have a look? Take your sunglasses off now. No. No. Oh, those that one's cool. Oh wow. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, cute, 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 cute. Nothing suits me anymore, though, unfortunately. 25. Oh, that's a good price. That's pretty. Not that I wear colours, but that's so pretty. Oh, cool. Baby things. Where are the baby things? Oh, here we go. Oh, look at it. She's not a little devil. Well, not really. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Moon child. It's appropriate to the Severina song. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, they have all the kill stuff, homeway stuff. Uh, I already have some of it, but it's still in New Zealand. Uh, oh fuck, I like that bag. Don't need more handbags. I don't need more handbags. I don't need. That's also a very cool handbag. I kind of need to get one of these one day. Look how cute that is. Fuck. I saw a lady with her fangs in, and it reminded me to put mine in. Father Sebastian, who made these fangs, isn't here. Well, he is and isn't. He's at the Biggie T, but in a secret location and only doing half as many appointments as usual so I was hoping to get a pair for my darling Mr. L. I fear that is not going to be possible. Anyway, Severine is so far ahead. <laughs> she loves people. She's really social so she's like smiling and giggling at everybody and looking at things and everyone's like oh my god look at the little baby all in black. Abaddon Mystic Store. <laughs> Oh, I like those. I have that hat. It's the most excellent hat. I have it with me, actually. Oh my god, my hair is so flat. No. Look how big those rings are. Wow. Ah, uh, that's cute. Ah, uh, uh, help me, help me, help me. Help me, I haven't got much money. Ah. Uh, all black. Uh, ooh, velvet. So much kill star about. Oh, I think I have that. But it looks like shit on me. Oh. Beautiful dresses. That's got to be Sinister brand. Sinister is so expensive, but it's so beautiful. Oh, oh, I love it. Oh, help! That's beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. I hope Mr. Al finds something for himself. You want some for the little one? <laughs> sure. <laughs> You've never had a balloon before. You're gonna get a balloon. Yeah, you're getting a balloon. Perfect. Yeah, sure. So needless. <laughs> huh? Absolutely right. That's Good yours. advice. That's, That's for me. Yours, yeah? And if you, you want, so we have, of course, an Instagram page. So yes. if you want, maybe you can follow us. Oh, thank you so much. Be 
there's a lucky girl. You're getting a balloon. Here you go, darling, look. Wow. So Mr. L's first time drinking Canal Bolo. It's very important drink sacred to this place. This is the best bang for your buck. <laughs> Fruity. Yes. The fruit is soaked in booze. The blessed special baller stand. Many a happy memory I have here. I'm Mama Chinkin Bitter. Danke. Wunderbar. This is the fucking best. Okay, let's go sit somewhere in the shade, shall we? My dearly beloved Handbrot. Oh, I've missed you. Oh. We legged it back to our hotel. We are now entering a lift. <laughs> oh, where's the doodad? We are in a lift. Hi. And, oh, there they are. Hello. We're, we are going to go Hello. see... The devil and the Universe. <laughs> yes. Well, it's like one of the only bands I actually really care about seeing. Are we getting a taxi? Mr. L's extra tall. He's got him. I bought him a pair of seven inch platform boots a while ago so that I could wear six inch. Ha ha. So that I could wear six inch platform boots around him and not feel awkward. Okay, a taxi's here. No, no. Uh, Volkspalast müssen wir bitte. Law skates. Despite the tickets being extra expensive this year, there aren't that many kind of, I guess what you'd call a like big ticket bands, like big name bands. But there aren't actually that many bands that I really care about seeing. You might have noticed I'm a big bit of a fan of Devil in the Universe. I didn't have time to change Severine into her little tiny Devil in the Universe t-shirt. <laughs> their new album's amazing. I mean, I knew it would be, but it is. So, I'm sure they'll be playing some tracks from that. Well, I just missed them play their best, most favorite, famous song. Oh, wow. <laughs> about whether or not they would let you know us in with like a seven month hold to various venues so far so good but here they basically said well maybe to toddlers are okay because i can tell you if it's too loud babies can't i'm like well i got her like the best little baby earmuffs that exist like i read all the reviews they make it completely silent she would be completely safe point is what we've been doing is we've been taking turns so we'll go and watch two or three songs like i'll go and watch two or three songs and um, i'll come out and let him go and watch two or three songs so Kind of shit, but better than better than nothing at all. So I'm I'm here minding the bear. There are literally children inside that aren't that much older than her. There's a bit crap sitting outside the venue, and one of your favorite bands is playing inside. But these are the sacrifices we must make for our children. Um, hopefully, it'll be okay with the next place. I got lots of friends that I want to catch up with, so. to support a band, buy their merchandise. Hilarious. I have three copies of this album. I thought it was about time I bought another t-shirt. I asked him if he had any fat lady size and he did. Broth goss everywhere but not a drop to drink. Hey baby, your first concert at Twebchantal.
try and negotiate my way through this crowd. I really didn't think that like they would let me in here with a baby, but they did. And she's been asleep the whole time. Two really cool things happened to me this evening so far. This chap was talking to me earlier when I went to see Devil in the Universe, and he said that he knew about Devil in the Universe because of one of my videos. It's like, oh, I'm here because of you, and it's like, wow. And he said, you're very. He said you're important to this community, and I. Well, that's got to be actually one of the best compliments that can be given to me. That made, that was really. I was really. I was, that was a lot. That was a wonderful thing to hear. So the singer from Nosferatu just came up to me and he said, "I have to say thank you," and I said, "Why?" I like I'm telling you about this rather than actually filming it as it happens, you know. And he said that like one of the songs they played, sorry, uh, Four Weddings and a Vampire, he was inspired by watching my, my wedding video. He said that like gave him the idea for the song. <laughs> That's so cool! <laughs>